Hi, this is Mandy from Stamp Me Paper Panda, and today I'd like to share with you some items from the gorgeous new Stampin' Up! catalogue for 2018 to 2019. I think you can see from the cover here there's some absolute gorgeousness inside um, some of these items I'll be able to show you today. Um, otherwise you'll be able to get your hands on this from the 1st of June, so that's upcoming. And then this is uh, all of the lovely colours that are going to be in the new catalogue. So you can see we've got these gorgeous new in colours for the next two years. I love this pinky one. You can see my nails kind of almost match that one. I didn't realise that before now. Um, and then we have new colour revamp for all of the colour family. So we've got new colours in the neutrals, the brights, the subtles, the regals. We've got a few coming back. So Mossy Meadow and Blackberry Biss were a couple of my favourites in particular. We've got some new ones like Merry Merlot, Granny Apple Green, and these two beautiful purple colours here. So lots to see. Now, where do we start? I think a bit more detail on some of these colours, don't you? So let's look at the in colours. Here they are, aren't they just gorgeous? So you get the selection, you can get card packs with a selection of all five. Uh, you can get cards on their own. Um, also got the new style ink pads to show you here as well. Um, absolutely lovely colours. You can see I haven't opened mine yet. I thought I'd share this with you all. Absolutely brand new because it does all look lovely like this. There's also the Stamping Right markers. Uh, they come in a lovely new pack with this nice new packaging um, that Stamping Up have come out with for this year. There's also some ribbon. Let's open this one up so that you can actually get to see it. That might make life easier. I only went for the lovely lipstick one because I really like that colour. Um, for now, how sweet is that? Very nice, like that. And then there's also some um, 6x6 designer series paper. You may remember uh, a couple of years ago we always had the large 12x12 packs with patterns in for the in colour, so I, I was quite disappointed when they went away. But now we've got these lovely little 6x6 packs, so they're back for the in colours, which is really nice. I still love that pink. Um, so that's lovely, so I'm going to be making some things with those soon. Um, what's next? I think the rest of the ink pads, so let's just tidy this little bit away. So you can see the next lot. There's so much to show you. It's all so exciting. Uh, here's the um, four packs of the new Colour Family uh, cards. So you can see I haven't opened those yet. Um, but we also have... This is a selection that you can buy of all of the new and returning colours, um, which exclude the in colours because that's a separate item. Um, but all of these lovely colours, I can't wait to see them. You can see I haven't opened it yet um, so that I could share that with you, but it's all so exciting. Oh, look, they're all wrapped up inside. So we've got this gorgeous group. I love this one. And the Granny Apple Green. Lovely colours. Highland Heather. They're going to go together really nicely. A grey granite. I hope you can see these. Um, some beautiful blues. It's Balmy Blue. <gasps> Blackberry Bliss. That's one of my favourites. Coastal Cabana. Flirty Flamingo. So that was one of the last year's in colours that's returning, um, which a lot of us are pleased about. We've got Petal Pink. That's a new one. New one returning. Can't remember. Poppy Parade. That's returning. Shaded Bruce is new. Uh, Soft Sea Foam. That's a lovely pale green colour. And then, oh, I love this one. Melon Mambo. Man Mango. Mango Melody, even. Merry Merlot. That's a nice one. I think I'm going to be using that one together with the Shaded Spruce. And perhaps that grey, I think. I think that, that grey will go really nicely for, for Christmas cards, those three colours together. Um, Mint Macaron is back. I know lots of you love that one. And also Mossy Meadow is back, which I love that one too. So those are all the new um, and returning colours from the Colour Vamp for this year. So that's all quite exciting. So let me just put all of these to one side so I can show you some lovely new stamp sets that you can get in the upcoming catalogue. <gasps> Which one to start with? This one, I think. Um, abstract impressions. I really love this one. This is a photopolymer set, which I really quite like because then you can see where you're stamping and these little layer on top to build up the images. Um, there's some coordinating dies that go with it. They don't actually cut out the images that you stamp, but it's all meant to go together along with this paper pack, the Garden Impressions 6x6 Designer Series paper. And I did open it because I was too impatient because I love this one and I wanted to have a better look. So you can see you've got this lovely pink and these florals. Absolutely love these. Look at that one. 
gorgeous. Can't wait to start playing with this one. And you can see that's that kind of pulls out things from the, the stamp set. So does that one. Oh, just lovely. I've just got that one upside down. Gorgeous, gorgeous colours, bright colours. So I think that's going to be a really nice one for, for making cards for the summer. With. So that's that set. Uh, the next one I have to show you oops, is the painted glass. Again, that one is a, oh, that one's a red rubber. And then we've got these thinlets. I did open all of these up so that it would be easier to, and quicker to show you. Um, so that's got some lovely, nice thinlets. So the butterfly, the bird, and the flower all cut out these images. And you've got to remember to look on the back on this one because there's another one hiding in there, which you might miss if you're not careful. Um, then we have the Lily Lake pad. That's a, a red rubber set. And again, it's got some lovely frame lips. You might have seen some really nice projects already out on the internet on Facebook or on Pinterest of people using these dies, which really, really do look nice. Uh, we also have this lined alphabet stamp set, which is a photopolymer one, so you can stamp these out, um, colour them in if you want to, stamp them out of coloured paper, um, all sorts of options on that one. And you get this really fancy special die set with this one which is probably going to be difficult to show you how it will work on this one until I actually make some projects but you get all of the letters of the alphabet which will cut out these but within um, a shaped area within like a, a pointed area so that slots into here and it cuts it out so that it's on the edge of the piece I'm probably not explaining that terribly well but hopefully you'll get to see that very soon uh, what's this one? Well, varied vases. That comes with a lovely punch. I know lots of people like punches. Um, really quite good for kind of crafting on the go if you're out and about going off to classes and things and want something to take with you. It's a bit easier than your die cutting machine. So that's a really nice set again. That's a photopolymer one. So that's nice. What else do we have? We've got a few stamp sets here. We've got Enjoy Life. This is one of the um, million dollar sales sets. So as a Stampin' Up! Dem demonstrator, if you get to uh, reach sort of a million dollars, which um, is just fantastic when people actually do that. They get to help design a stamp set. So this is one of the newest ones, which I really, really, really like that set. Um, animal outing. This one's quite fun. It's a sketchy one with lots of different wild animals on there. You've got a kangaroo with a koala bear in his tummy. That's so sweet. And then what's that one? I guess that's, a, I was going to say hippo, but it's not. It's a rhino because it's got a, a horn there and a little birdie sitting there. So really sweet one. This one is a nice um, one if you, you're into your flowers. Um, they're quite small, um, but you've got one for each month of the year. So that's a really nice set. I think you'd be able to do some lovely things with that one. And then this Pick a Pennant Suite, which is quite sweet. This is a, a photopolymer, and I love anything with pennants on it and a little alphabet so you can make up your own messages and things. So that's really, really nice too. What else do we have? A couple more sets to go. We're almost done. Um, there's this lovely rooted in nature set. Um, you can see I tend to go for the red rubber, the, the cling ones, plus the photopolymer. You can also get some of these on, on wood. This one you definitely can. So if you like Lovely as a Tree, which is still available, you're probably going to like this one too. Um, it's a really, really nice set. And it also has these coordinating dies with it. Um, as you can see, we'll cut out some of these images like the trees here. And here and that big tree there, uh, the little tree, and some of the leaves, I think. Yeah, so that's a really nice set too. And this one also comes with some lovely, lovely paper, which again I've opened just to have a sneak at. But look at all these lovely colours, that beautiful sort of bark effect. Beautiful colours here, I love that one. Absolutely gorgeous. This is lovely. That's just divine, that colour. Absolutely lovely. So that one's going to be fun to use as well. Um, which other one should I show you? I've got this one down here. This is um, got a few different bits in this set here. This one's detailed with love stamp set. Um, and there's this tri trio punch, I guess. So you've got three different um, corners to it that will do different things and coordinate with some of these pieces here. So that's really nice. Um, there's a memories and more for this set. Ooh, which if I can get in there, I'll be able to show you. I don't know if I've opened this one or not. I don't think I have. No, I haven't. Um, there's another one in there. So that's going to be a really nice set. Let's have a quick look, shall we? Let's open this one up and have a look. I have a feeling that some of this might be going off down the side of the camera, so I hope not. I hope you're getting to 
see all of this. Oh, so I might just have to film some of it again. And then it won't be the surprise of opening it. Oh, I can't get into this. There we go, there we go. Let's see. Ooh, look at this, like that. Ooh, and we've got some little sentiments and things to punch out there, that's nice. Ooh, and a filigree one, that's pretty, isn't it? I do like this purple. This that one I really like, that one there, that's nice, I like that. So that's in your memories and more. Um, this set, you can also get these lovely little note cards and envelopes, um, which sort of come printed with a, a watercolour effect for you to actually get crafting with. So they're really nice, like these colours. That's lovely. And then this is all rather special in here. Um, you've got these very delicate filigree, I think it's meant to be that way because it's laser cut, filigree uh, sheets. I'm really not quite sure what I want to do with that because I wouldn't want to, I won't want to cut it, it's too pretty. Um, so I think you get a couple of each like that and they all come separated with these lovely bits of tissue paper so I can surely go and think of things to do with that too. Um, and then there's another couple of different ones. That's a different one there, they're all the same, I'm not quite sure. Here's some different ones, here's where these smaller panels come, which you can cut up and oops, use theirs. They're very pretty, aren't they? Look at that. Let's try and show you on a piece of cardboard at the bottom. I'm not making a very good job of this, am I? Be patient, be patient. Yes. How pretty. How pretty is all of that. Look, so you cut these panels out and I think they'll probably, will they go straight on? Yeah, they might go straight onto those cards. Um, you can obviously add all sorts of other things. So that's a good old selection of goodies from the new catalogue, which right now I can't actually see. Oh, there it is, <laughs> the new catalogue. I've got so much on my desk here. The new catalogue. Um, so I hope you enjoyed taking a quick sneak through some of those things, and I hope you're looking forward to getting your hands on some of it and the new catalogue uh, come June the 1st. Um, please pop by my blog, you can see it's over here. And if you want to purchase any of these items um, or any of the current items, you can stop by my shop there too. Thanks for watching. Bye.